All right, guys, hope y'all are having a great day. It's another read a proverb, proverb of a day. Um, so today I'm on the front porch of my house. And uh, so uh, what better place than to read God's word on your front porch uh, with your neighbors uh, out and about. You got people driving by um, and uh, just allowing uh, the word of the Lord to go forth. And so uh, today, being uh, a April the 25th, uh, we're going to be reading Proverbs chapter 25. Uh, the ones we've got today now, and we'll stop it to two or three that I, like I've always done. Uh, but what I encourage you to do, like I've always said, is go back. Go back and grab these things and you read them for yourself as well. Uh, but we're going to be reading uh, we, we Proverbs chapter 25. I'm on the on the front porch of my house. I am overlooking my neighbors. I've got people driving by, people walking by. Uh, man, why not get out and just share the good news? All right, here we go. Proverbs 25. Uh, these are also Proverbs of Solomon, which the men of Hezekiah, king of Judah, copied out. It is the glory of God to conceal a thing, but the honor of a king is to search out a manner. Uh, are a matter. So boy, to listen Listen to where it goes to here. Verse three, the heaven for height and the earth for depth, but the heart of a king is unsearchable or who can know the heart of a king? Take away the dross from the silver and there shall come forth a vessel for the finer. Now notice how this, this next verse compares to that. Verse five, take away the wicked from before the king and his throne shall be established in righteousness. That rings true today. I'll read it again. Take away the wicked from before the king, and his throne shall be established in righteousness. Put not forth thyself in the presence of the king, and stand not in the place of a great man. For better it is that he be said unto thee, Come up hither, than that thou shouldest be put lower in the presence of the prince whom thine eyes have seen. Basically, it's better for the king to call upon you to come. Uh, because when the king is calling upon you to come, that means you've got something to share with him. Uh, verse 8, go not forth hastily to strive, lest thou know not what to do in the end thereof. When thy neighbor hath put thee to shame, debate thy cause with thy neighbor himself. That would be good today for a lot of us. And discover not a secret to another. Lest he that heareth it put thee to shame and thine infamy Turn not away. A word fitly spoken is like apples of gold in pictures of silver. Uh, choose your words wisely. As an earring of gold and an ornament of fine gold, so is a wise reproof. clouds and wind without rain by long forbearing let's see if I can get this back up by long forbearing is a prince persuaded and a soft tongue breaketh the bone it's amazing what a soft answer um, I think that goes to the scriptures where it says um, and I noticed my internet's in and out uh, but I think that uh, it would tell us that you and I were to, were to be ready to give an answer always for the hope that is inside us, but we're to do it with much meekness and with lo much love. Uh, so basically, tell the truth, uh, but tell the truth in, uh, in, in a way that is loving. Uh, not, doesn't, mean, doesn't mean you don't step on their toes. It just means you're telling the truth. Um, and that word that's fitly spoken, how it can break uh, the softest bone. All right? Uh, keep going. Verse 16. Uh, hey, uh, hast thou found honey? Eat so much as sufficient for thee, lest thou be filled therewith and vomit it. Uh, I've told y'all in the past, uh, with my with my dad uh, taking honey off a lot, uh, you can be uh, just about too much honey at some times, uh, and it would cause you not to feel too good. Um, and that's what he's talking about here as far as th that position of when it comes to it. Because listen to verse 17, withdraw thy foot from thy neighbor's house, lest he be weary of thee and so hate thee. A man that beareth false witness against his neighbor is a maw and a sword and a sharp arrow. Confidence in, in an unfaithful man in a time of trouble is like a broken tooth and a foot out of joint. Basically, 
you and I need to be careful where we are put in our faith, where we put in our trust. I put my trust in the Lord. I put my my trust in that of in that of of His Word and that of who He says He is. Um, now, yes, there's men that you can, but even then we must be careful uh, because we know the heart of man. Um, it, it's it is wicked, is what the Bible tells us. Keep going. Um, verse 21, if thine enemy be hungry, give him bread to eat. And if he thirsty, then give water to drink. For thou shalt heap coals of fire upon his head, and the Lord shall reward thee. Uh, the north wind driveth away rain, so doth an angry countenance, a backbiting tongue. It is better to dwell in the corner of the housetop than with a brawling woman and in a wide house. Yesterday I was helping a friend of mine, um, Brother Gene, and it, we were we were joking back and forth about this verse. Um, and 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 to be honest with you, there's a lot that can be talked about. A lot could be said. Go back go back and read uh, Ephesians five. That would help you. Here we go. As cold water is to a thirsty soul, so is a good news for him a far, far country. A righteous man falling down before the wicked is a troubled fountain and a corrupt spring. It is not good to eat much honey. So for men to search their own glory is not is not glory. Basically, um, it's not good for a person to go out and, and seek for his own glory. Really, as a believer in Jesus Christ, everything we do, we do it for the glory of God. I'm not doing it for my glory. I don't do it for the glory of South River Baptist Church. I'm not doing it for the glory of, if you've noticed my cook's hat, right, that's silly. Why would I do it for that? I am doing it for the glory of God. He that hath no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls. So listen, uh, I know I know my connection's not good, but if you'll go back and watch this again, you'll see that it, it, it feeds it. It feeds it fine. Um, I hope that y'all have a blessed day. Uh, man, I'm out here on the front porch. God's word can be read anywhere. God's word can be read anywhere. Uh, what we have to do is decide, are we going to read it? Um, do we want to open his word? Do we want to study his word? And so I encourage you guys, listen, dig deep in his word. Uh, there's no better time than now, uh, but there's always, it's always a good time uh, to get, get into his word, dig deep, unless you're ready. Allow that word to change our lives. Allow that word to change our walk so that our walk becomes to be looking more like him and less like ourselves. And man, look at what we could be doing for the glory of God. Uh, basically, being able to take 